Welcome to The Open Word, an online ministry of Boone Open Bible Church. On today's program, we bring you a word from the pastor featuring Phil Waldo. And now, here's Phil. Hey everybody, Pastor Phil here. We've been talking about matters of the mind. Thoughts are powerful and can affect who we are and how we behave. And God has given us the ability to choose our own thoughts. So we need to take control and stop our stinking thinking. Stinking thinking is worldly and short-sighted, leading to all kinds of trouble. And basically, stinking thinking is opposite of what, what God thinks. Here are a couple of examples. You think it's impossible, but God says all things are possible. You think I can't do it, but God says I can do all things. Anytime our thoughts disagree with God, we have stinking thinking. Stinking thinking is worldly, and 1 Corinthians 3.19 says that the wisdom of this world is foolishness in God's sight. We actually get the word moron from the Greek word here for foolish. God's wisdom and understanding is so much higher than ours that when we disagree with him, we are being blockheaded. Our thoughts are often short-sighted and self-deceptive. We often don't think in light of all eternity and we so easily believe the lies of the enemy. Ultimately, stinking thinking leads to degradation and self-destruction. Romans 1 talks about people who became completely darkened in their understanding because of their foolish thoughts. We don't want that. So let's get rid of the stinking thinking and replace it with righteous reasoning. Righteous reasoning has eternity in mind and thinks like God thinks, which leads to holiness and peace. It all begins with our way of thinking. Now, I believe we all struggle at least occasionally with stinking thinking, so Peter has some advice for us. 2 Peter 3, 17 and 18 says, Therefore, dear friends, since you already know this, be on your guard so that you may not be carried away by the error of lawless men and fall from your secure position, but grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. To him be glory both now and forever. Amen. Be on your guard, paying attention to your thoughts to make sure they're not stinking thinking. Grow in grace, thinking of others before yourself, as well as expressing gratitude to God. And then grow in knowledge of the word of God so that you know the truth, which will set you free. And finally, give God glory in your thoughts and words. No more stinking thinking. And that's it for today. We'll see you next time.